Welcome back to Fire Field Vision powered by NovaCare. The Chicago Fire are headed north this Saturday to take on Toronto FC in a road match. Velko Panovic's men are looking to carry over the momentum from back-to-back -back home wins for a chance at their first road win of the season. David Akam has been in form of late. He scored in five of the last six games. He's been aided by the return of midfielder John Goosens, who has been that link between the back line and the forward line the Fire have looked for all season long. Goosen scored his first goal, MLS goal, in the Fire's 1-0 victory over the San Jose Earthquakes on Friday night. Good for us to hopefully build some momentum here. Uh, this is an important month. We have a ton of games, so we need to keep that momentum and keep getting wins. We want to take advantage of the uh, confidence that we have winning the last two games uh, in order to improve everything. First, uh, I think it's always uh, easier to work when you have uh, that winning confidence and also uh, the mood is very, very positive. That spirit is something that we need. I can't say that we lack of, but you know, the confidence is back. Uh, we have a very good uh, opponent in front uh, on Saturday, Toronto, and I think it's a great game to win. And we will, we, as I said, we always prepare and we play all our games to win. So for this game, it's going to be the same, but I uh, expect a different outcome. The Fire are collectively as healthy as they've been all season long. Both Arturo Alvarez and Matt Polster are back in training, says Velko Panovic, and both are available for selection. Chicago will also be boosted by the availability of Michael Deliu, the 29-year-old Dutchman is available for the first time since joining the team in June, and he'll look to make an impact right away. Yeah, very excited, because uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, you know that you only train and uh, don't play matches, and uh, yeah, you want to play games. That's why uh, I became uh, a soccer player, and um, yeah, excited and very happy that, uh, that the day finally comes that uh, I can make, hopefully, make some minutes. It's important for us to, have, uh, to add more people who can help us, who can score goals, who can win games, who can defend, who can stop goals, st stop penalties. We need, you know, the, the whole team is, you know, every role is important for our team. And as we are adding now Michael uh, to our roster so he can also uh, play the next game in the, during the whole season, it's important. It's Toronto FC has been very good at home of late. They have three wins and two draws in their last five games. TFC will be hurting, though, as four of their top players are out. Goalkeeper Clint Irwin, midfielders Michael Bradley and Will Johnson, and forward Josie Altidore all are out with leg injuries. Still, Velko Panovic won't be taking this game lightly. It's going to be a very challenging game, like all the games uh, so far. And uh, there, is, there, there is always just a, you know, uh, positive um, attitude, positive um, mindset, game plan. Uh, guys are doing very well. Today we did um, 11 v 11 scrimmage game and it went very good. So it's, it's tough even for the coach now to decide who's going to play, but that's what we want. That's what we need. It, we, we don't know exactly how they're going to have to head three in the back last game, four in the game before. So we're prepared for anything. But I think the thing is, you've seen in some of their games when they've had guys replaced, whether it be in the Canadian Championship, guys have stepped up. So it's going to be a hard game. Uh, no way we go in there and take them lightly. It's another opportunity for the Fire to pick up their first road win of the season on Saturday night in Toronto. Coverage begins at 6 p.m. on CSN Chicago.